Very good. So in the next yes, session, doc. okay, please. So in the next session, I want to just highlight the thalamus. But before I do that, once I have this picture, I have to show you a structure. Okay, I want to. I have to show you a structure. Can you see that? Um, let me get a good orientation. Good. Can you see that? This is your. Uh, I mean, you have cut your 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 cerebrum right from top to down, isn't it? But this is one part of the hemisphere. Can you see that? So this is actually the left hemisphere. And this is the right hemisphere. Can you see that? Yes, bro. I just want to highlight something before I talk about the thalamus. Do you see that there is there is this the hemispheres are joined by this this structure? Um, Can you see that? Can you all appreciate that? Yes. This structure. So that here they are not joined. You see, they are separate, but there is this structure that joins the hemispheres. Can you see that? Yes, yes sir. What is the name of the structure that joins the two hemispheres together? Who knows? It's called the corpus callosum. Yes, the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. I've mentioned that for those who have been with me for some time. The corpus callosum is the structure that joins the two cerebral hemispheres. And it's also called, yes, but you mentioned it. George Washington Bridge. The George Washington Bridge. Oh, um, actually, say, a woman penny, a woman penny, or tea kind, et snapping, so I will use a broad deal of free. You keep phone calls for me. Or a woman will say, while boy, Juma, a woman see bridge, a war, Texas, I'm fun to know. I dear young quiet, a number two, a woman penny. A man penny, a who father so over friends saying. Then I'll be too. Let's go for the bridge. I'm not sure, boy. What did you do? I'm not sure. We are friends with George Washington's bridge. It's a kind of one year, Sam. I had the bridge now connected to her mistress. I had the tunnel. I'm not sure. One year, Only God knows. Anyway. Hmm. It's not, it's not, this is what I wanted to actually highlight. Okay, so that in case I don't talk about it and then you, you are asked, you should be able to see that the Corpus Callosum, also called the George Washington's Bridge, by the American people, not everybody, the George Washington's Bridge is the body that connects the two cerebral hemispheres. Okay, so now let me go to the reason why I showed this. So you can see that this one, if they are not cut it, if they had not cut the, the cerebrum, you see that it actually extends from here to here, do you see that? Do you see that? Yes, doctor. So they've cut it and then they are showing us the internal, and you can see that truly, this is what this is the coordinate nucleus. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. This is the basal ganglia. So you see that it's actually at the base of the cerebrum. Can you appreciate that? Say so inside. Yes, doctor. Good. And of course, this is what. The lateral ventricle, you can see the lateral ventricles. Okay. We'll talk about the ventricular system later, but you can see that this is a ventricle, right? No. Yes. Of course. Let me skip that because that is not my 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 aim. My aim is to highlight these green structures. That's the thalamus. Unse basal ganglia no ewo epsro ena thalamus ne shasi. When was that? Yes, sir. Yeah. The thalamus, yeah. And only green one. Now, what do you have to know about the thalamus? Everybody pay attention. What do you have to know about the thalamus? Now, I'm going to tell you that the thalamus mm. of all sensory information Really, messenger of all sensory information. 
or explain that probably except in the sense of men. Probably except the sense of smell. When we say you are a really person, what does it mean? It means that before you go to the master, you have to first seek permission. You have to give the information from to the talamos to give it to the master. Do you understand? Yes. So, what sensations do you know of? Pain, vision, touch, um, um, hearing, right? Temperature, isn't it? Taste, isn't it? Yes, sir. Vibration. You know that the primary somatosensory cortex, which is the postcentral gyrus, is supposed to what, interpret all sensations, apart from sensations of hearing and what? And vision, isn't it? Right? Yes, sir. Yes. So if yes, you are no. somebody bringing temperature sensation, who do you have to go to before you reach the parietal lobe? It is a thalamus. Okay. If you are bringing, if you are bringing vision sensation, you have to go to the thalamus before you go to the what occipital lobe. If you are bringing hearing sensation, you have to what go to the thalamus before you go to the what temporal lobe. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, no. This is what I mean by what? He is the chief relay messenger of all sensory information. Whatever sensation you are bringing, if you don't go to the thalamus, you can't go to your interpretation center, except maybe for the sense of smell. So it means that the thalamus is made up of nuclei that what receive various sensations. So let's look at some of the nuclei, okay? And the sensations they actually receive before they go to the Interpretation center. Do you understand my point? Awesome. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. So I'm going to show the white board, but I, I hope you appreciate what I said. Yes. Thank you. I could also intend. Why you? So the first nucleus I want to talk about is for the sense of vision. Which part of the thalamus would receive the sense of vision? What gets to the primary visual cortex for interpretation as the um, occipital lobe. The part of the thalamus which mediates that is called the lateral geniculate body. Everybody? Lateral geniculate body. Everybody, I didn't say everybody. Lateral geniculate body. Again. Again. Lateral geniculate body. It's what receives what? The sense of vision. So the it's part of the vision pathway. You know that that vision pathway will eventually go to the what? Occipital lobe, because that is where the primary visual cortex is. So that is where we interpret what? Vision. But you don't just bring information from the eye and then you bypass the thalamus. No. The thalamus would have to receive it. So after it has received it, then it will send the information there. And the guy, the nucleus that receives it is what? The lateral geniculate body. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Now let's look at who actually mediates hearing. He is called the medial geniculate body. Everybody, the medial geniculate body. Go. Medial, the medial geniculate body. The medial geniculate body. Again. The, the medial, medial geniculate, geniculate body. body. So it is the part of the thalamus that actually receives what? information from the hearing pathway before that information is sent to the temporal lobe, the primary auditory cortex. You cannot bypass it. Are you understanding how God made the body? Yeah. No. Yes. Oh. Now, let's look at one very important nucleus. It is called the 
VPN. Ventral, oh sorry, ventral posterolateral nucleus. The ventral posterolateral nucleus. Which sensations does this nucleus mediate? The lateral geniculate is for the vision sensation, audition sensation. How about the VPN? It's actually pain temperature. So it actually mediates a lot of people. Pain, temperature, pressure, touch, vibration, proprioception. You, you for now, just follow my lead, okay? So someone actually feels pain. Which nucleus of the thalamus? And you see the pain, which part of the brain would interpret that it is pain? Who, who can tell me? If you step, if you step, if you step on a nail, which part of the brain interpreted that it is painful? Anybody? We see, we see, we see, we see, we see, we see. You don't want to build a cat. Who knows? Oh, if you've been following principles, by now you'd have told me the answer. Ah, pain, no, no pain. Who? Yes. I remember you said that if in case we step on something, the the how do you call it? Mm -hmm. The I mean those the input will is but I'm not sure if it's, that's what you're talking about. Or... Okay. Which part of the brain would interpret pain? Hey. Mm -hmm. If you step on something the, and then the, the brain the, is supposed to interpret the, it, who? The uh -huh. thalamus. Eh, Meshu. The thalamus relates it to somebody. Who is that? The brain oh, stem. The, the brain. Eh, who said the brain stem? The thalamus the, relates the pain sensation to someone in the brain. Who is that? The that is the phalon part. I'm I'm confused though. I'm trying to. Ah, is which the, part of the brain with the pain? pain? Ventral is the ventral posterolateral nucleus in the thalamus or is in the brain? The thalamus okay. would, would receive that. The VPN receive that. Why is this sending it to? Have you guys the, the, the proof. <laughs> the what? Dog, the, the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal thing. The prefrontal, no, no. All them will higher, uh, higher sense uh, way, no. Uh, uh, hey, okay. Eugenia. Eugenia. Dog. Which Dog. part of the brain would um give the pain um pain interpretation? Yes, you more. Dog, the somato. Um, no, no, no. So, so what was difficult about this? It's a parietal <laughs> lobe, the post central gyro. What do you think about, about this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, don't forget. All right. So, someone steps now. Let me even go deeper. Which part of the, which part, if, if, if your leg, if your leg was the one, was the part of the body that stepped on the nail, which part of the post central gyro? Would, would do the interpretation. Is it the lateral part or the medial part? Okay. Huh? Medial part. But can occur. No, the middle, the, the medial, yeah. The medial. Do you get the point? Yeah. Everybody, do you understand? Regina, do you understand? Yes, though. We do even admit to YouTube. 
Okay, that is fine. That's just by the way. Sometimes you have to shout, okay? You have to shout to actually... Okay, good. So, the last I want to talk about, if there is a posterior lateral nucleus, then, of course, there is a ventral posterior media, okay? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, ventral posterior medial nucleus. And this is what, what mediates the taste and then sensations from the face. You see, you see, I mean, the reason why I really like basic sciences, okay, is that it helps me appreciate how God made the body. So when I taste something in the in the in the on, on my on my on my tank, the fibers actually move and then eventually get to the thalamus. But it doesn't go to the lateral geniculate, it doesn't go to the medial geniculate, it just goes to the VPN. But I'll say VP uh, MN, the um ventral posterior medial nucleus before the taste actually goes to the brain for interpretation. Do you understand? The fact that you are hearing me, the sound waves actually move through what? Your, your, your ears. And then the pathway actually went to a very good pathway, went through the cochlear nerve, blah, 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 blah. And then it went to the what, thalamus, which part of the thalamus? The medial geniculate body. Then from the medial geniculate body, the fibers went to the what? Temporal lobe, the primary auditory cortex. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Yes, One of you appreciate that. That's good. So this ends the thalamus. Always remember that it is the chief really messenger of all sensations, probably except the sensation of what smell. And you have to keep four nuclei in your head. And the one that you have to keep very well is actually number three, because it mediates a lot of a lot of sensations. But of, of course, you also want to keep the lateral geniculate body because we are going to talk about the optic pathway soon. So you see, I'm I'm using these principles so that when I start talking about the optic pathway and I see that from the optic nerve, it crosses to become the optic chiasm, optic tract, then it will go to the thalamus and the part of the thalamus is the lateral geniculate body before it goes to the, um, the okandan, before it goes to the occipital loop. And you understand why the, the fibers won't go to the parietal loop, won't go to the what, frontal loop but the occipital loop primary, you would understand, isn't it? That is how to learn. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thank you.